these plants all around us, like the bird of paradise, are tropical plants. But it's cold outside! We're inside this greenhouse! What, what, what's a greenhouse? Come on in, silly, and I'll show you what I mean. In order to understand what a greenhouse is and what it does, we first have to learn a little bit about plants and how they come from a little seed. Like this one! Right! So, acorns, corn, and beans, they're all seeds, right? Well, how do they become as big as this guy? Well, for that to happen, we need three things. And that is going to be temperature, water, and light. If all these plants have light, water, and temperature, Right, if all these plants have light, water, and temperature, we have something we call germination. In order to germinate or grow, they need one more thing, and that is carbon dioxide, or we like to call CO2. CO2? It's a mixture of oxygen and carbon. But don't we breathe oxygen? Right, here, try this. Take a deep breath in, you just took what we call oxygen. We use that to break our food down. Now go ahead and release it. Now you just release carbon dioxide or CO2. That is what's left over after we break down our food. Plants use what we don't need to make food and that's what we call photosynthesis. Wait, that's why plants are green. Right. So plants need the right amount of light, water, temperature, and CO2. That's what helps them grow, right? Uh-huh. This usually happens in the spring, but it's clearly not spring now. So how do these plants stay green? Look around! University's greenhouse. Just like others, it allows the sunlight to go through the grass. And with sunlight comes in heat. The cool thing about ours is that ours has fancy equipment that regulates or helps maintain the things that you need for plants to grow or germinate, like heat, light, water, and CO2. Alrighty, now that we learned all about greenhouses and we saw the one that we have on campus, you can make one at your house. So all you're gonna go and need is going to be a container, some maybe plastic. We have an egg carton, we like to be environmentally friendly. We're gonna go and need some seeds, whichever you choice. Right now we have spinach seeds. You're gonna have some plastic wrap, and then you're also going to need some soil. All right, so the first step that we're going to do is that we're going to get some soil and we're gonna put it in our egg carton or the container that you have at home. So now that we have step one done, next is step two. With step two, what we're going to do is poke a little hole in the soil using your finger. Now that we went ahead and poked the hole, we're going to get the seeds that we want. In this case, we have spinach seeds. We put them in and put them in our hole. All right, so now that we have the seeds in there, we're going to cover the seeds up with the soil around it and add a little bit of water. and put water is comes our last step our last step is we're gonna have some plastic wrap and we're gonna go and cover our container the last thing you're gonna want to do is gonna have to put it by a Somewhere where it's going to be able to get some sun, some light. Remember those three components that we need for germination. So we're going to get our greenhouse, put it maybe by a windowsill. Somewhere it's going to get some light. We're going to be able to look at our seed grow into a plant. When doing any type of experiment, it's important to write down all of the data that you gather. 
So for example, today we planted our seeds. In a month, we might come back and see if they've germinated. So now that you learn how to make your own greenhouse, hopefully you'll make it at home. Whenever you start seeing your seed germinate, popping on out, take that plastic wrap off, maybe even put it in a bigger pot. Once you do all that, make sure to record your data, take pictures, and if you want to share it with us in our social media, please do so. You can find out all information in the area below.